Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my badge buddies. So I'm going to be showing you two different techniques, I guess I should say. So one of them is going to be without using vinyl, like this, and the other is going to be with vinyl. This still needs a top coat, but I'm going to be showing you how I make both of these. So. You can get these at many different places. You can get them from Etsy. Um, I think that's where I got these from. You can also get them from Zindi.com or Moxie Vinyls. That's where I get my other acrylic blanks from. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by getting our resin ready. So we don't need much. I'm probably going to make about 40 or 50 species all together. Oops, there goes that. I poured way too much in. So you'll probably want to do this before you get your resin ready, but there are, there's this brown um, paper on both sides of them and you're going to want to remove the paper from one side. I already did it on these two, but I wanted to show you um, you know what to do. So I just take a little weeding tool here peel off an edge and then take that paper back in off. It doesn't matter which side it is when you're doing the badge buddies, but if you're using an acrylic blank like this, it does matter. You're going to want to make sure um, it's backwards if you're doing the glitter side first, which I do recommend. Okay, back to the resin. Let me mix this. And a little technique I use is I have some double-sided tape here and I am going to set my badge buddy on top of that. So, why isn't it? Oh my gosh, I'm like, why isn't it staying? I have to take that piece of paper off. Uh -huh. Okay. So for one of them, I'm going to be doing a blue glitter because I want to use this vinyl right here. Then for another one, I'm going to be using this glitter from It's Pretty Personal and use this vinyl with it. I'm going to see if maybe I could also add these little hearts to the glitter. We'll see. We'll see how things go. So I have these little disposable cups and I'm going to get my glitter ready. So I'm going to start with this light purple one. It's called Ultra Fine Purple Palette. I love this color. And I like to make it pretty thick when I'm doing the badge buddies. Alright, so I'm going to add my resin to the glitter. <laughs> I'm using tongue depressors. <laughs> from work. I have popsicle sticks but I didn't feel like getting them so I'm just using these. So here is what the glitter looks like and I think I'm going to add a few of those heart glitters in as well. Be 
super cute. So then I'm just going to start putting it on the badge bunny. And like I said, I like to layer, layer it on there pretty thick. Not wanting to stay. I don't know why. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside for now. And now let's move on to the next one. putting it on. Mm, I need to add more glitter actually. I want it to be very opaque. It's still not as opaque as I would like it, so I'm just going to add a little bit more glitter on top. another piece of double-sided tape. Hold on. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to do the pink and gold foil. There we go. That's better. So I'm going to start with the gold foil. So I'm going to take gold foil flakes here. And you don't need much at all. And 
then I'm just gonna put this on the top half. If you put too much foil in, it'll be really bumpy after it cures. And we don't want that. Poppin' Pink um, from Stardust Micas. You don't need much of that at all. I just kind of drizzle it in the middle. One more. And I'm going to use this fairy godmother glitter from It's Pretty Personal. Which is a gorgeous rose gold. Okay, so now I'm going to take my heat gun and use that to get rid of any bubbles. So I'm going to let that cure and then I will be back. Okay, so while I'm waiting for those to cure, I'm going to show you how to get the SVG files ready so that you're able to cut out the vinyl. Now, most, I'm gonna say 99% of the places that you buy the blank acrylic blanks from will give you the SVG file. I think there's one shop on Etsy that doesn't, but you'll get an SVG file with it. So we have the regular vertical ones here, horizontal one here and this is the extended length of vertical so let's start with these right here and we're gonna ungroup it and we only need one of them so we're gonna get rid of all of these 
Okay. Now, I'm trying to remember. Okay, you ungroup that. And we're going to slice it. So that that little piece up top will be an opening. Because we need that opening so you can put your badge through. But we're also going to need to put a little area at the bottom so you can put your title. So let's go to shapes. Let's get that. And I'm going to unlock it. Oops. Hold on, I need to make it bigger. Okay, I'm going to make sure that it's even. So. And we're going to slice it again. Okay, so that one is ready. Now let's go to the horizontal. We're going to ungroup it. We don't need this title, so we're going to get rid of that. And this, we are going to slice this why won't it let me slice it oh, I forget oh I have to ungroup that okay all right we're gonna get rid of that purple one okay now we're gonna put this there I want to make sure it's even so I'm gonna go to a line center center horizontal. Now we're going to slice it. Get rid of that and that. All right, we got our vertical and our horizontal. Now let's go to the extended. Okay, we're going to ungroup it. I'm going to take this yellow it. Wait, did it? Yeah, okay, it sliced. <laughs> oh, that's, <sighs> you know, I got rid of the little piece up top. All right, I need to figure out what happened there. See if it'll let me slice that. No, hold on. Hmm. All right, let's try the red one then. <laughs> All right, I want to make sure it's centered. Slice it. Okay, so we're going to get rid of that one. All right, so we have our three types of badge buddies, the SVG files, ready to cut our vinyl. So I'm just going to save it. And let's go cut our vinyl. Okay, we're back in Cricut Des Design Space. We're gonna go to Make It. Continue. And we're gonna choose Vinyl. And I always 
use the more on the pressure. Okay, so I'm going to put it in my Cricut and it's going to cut it. And let's move on to the next one. This is going to be for one of our horizontal ones. Okay, I haven't decided which vinyl I'm going to use for the extended length one, so let me go look through what I have and I will be back. So I decided to go with this green and rose gold star vinyl. So I'm also going to cut out the RN for our pink and gold foil badge buddy. for my resin table being a mess but resin is a messy hobby okay so the glitter and the resin has cured on the badge buddies for the most part <laughs> this one wasn't completely dry and I stuck my finger in it accidentally and there's a fingerprint if you ever do that just take your heat gun and melt it and it will get rid of it but now I need to let it completely dry. So that does not happen again. But we're gonna move on with the other ones. So I'm gonna start with this one. Here is how the glitter came out. And now we're gonna take off the other, the backing on the other side. So here's the vinyl that we cut, so let's weed that. I do want to mention that there are a lot of people, I would actually say most people use UV resin for badge buddies, but I have tried so many different kinds of UV resin and it just doesn't look good. I don't, I, I know it's a lot 
more time consuming to use a regular resin, but I feel like it just makes it a more quality product. And I just wanted to mention that. Okay. Now, you can choose to use transfer tape. I usually don't. I probably should, but I think I do a good job without it. What I do is I lift up the top part and make sh I go by the little hole here lot and match it up. I just smooth it out as I go along. There are, sometimes they can, uh, the SVG that they give you isn't an exact fit <laughs> for the badge buddy. Luckily, this one is. So here is what it looks like. So then you can put RN, your name, whatever your title is right there in whatever color vinyl you want. And I also put a clear coat of resin over top once I'm done that. Okay, let's move on. just because it's a vertical one it's easier to put the vinyl on the horizontal badge buddies without transfer tape so I think I'm gonna grab some already on there. And this is what I was talking about before. It does not fit this correctly. I don't know if it is a different SVG file than where I bought it from, or if I remember it always being like this though. If you can see, it's a little bit longer, and then where your badge will go through, that little slot is smaller than it is on the actual badge buddy. So what I do then is 
get an exacto knife and cut off the excess vinyl. The bottom part is cut off, and I think I'm actually going to leave it the way it is up here, because whenever I have tried to cut it, it always comes out super messy. So, but you feel free to do whatever you think is best. And here it is, and that looks really good actually. Okay. So now, let's move on to the extended. Link. chose to go with it. And this one as well, the opening here is different than on the Badge Buddy. But what can you do? And I know it I got the it was the same SVG file that I bought the blanks from. Okay. still has a lot of bubbles even though I didn't use the transfer tape so it's probably better to use transfer tape. I have learned my lesson. But I can get my little squeegee thing and try to get those out because they're really small ones. And like I said before, now I would put whatever title right in here and then put a final coat of resin over top. I'm not going to include that in the video because I'm going to put these on my Etsy shop and leave them blank so that they can be personalized by anyone who wants to buy them. And then we have the pink and gold foil. I'm afraid to mess with it, but as long as I don't touch that other side. here. Hmm. Let's 
then make sure you put it on the opposite side that we put the foil and the pink because like I said before, the foil can be kind of bumpy. It's not too bad, but we just want the letters on the opposite side. And there we go. Okay, I hope that this video was helpful. I did one similar to this before, but I was having some audio issues. Um, and if you want to see how I make my bad drills with the acrylic blanks, I do have a video that I will link up in the corner. Alright guys, I will see you later.